بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو ٹوڈیز ویڈیو آن کی بورڈ ٹوڈے آئی ول ٹرائی ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا سیکوینس آف کیز آن اے کی بورڈ کیو ورٹی کی بورڈ اینڈ آئی ول آلسو شیئر ود یو وٹ از کیو ورٹی stands for actually a uh, couple of days back i was sitting with my daughter <coughs> she is uh, of less than 6 uh, years of age mashallah and uh, i was asking some quiz about um, to find the key uh, or alphabet on my laptop keyboard and yes she was on thing but she has to she had to struggle a little bit to find a key then she was saying papa please bring correct keyboard this is not in a sequence like alphabets a b c d e right like that so i had to keep silent because i had i had no answer to the point why it is not in order why a is here and then b is somewhere else in even in another row i said okay let me have some r and d and after some r and d i came up with this uh, video to share with uh, the community as well okay <clears throat> q verti is uh, if i will say q verti this is the top rows first six letters this one so this layout is called q verti keyboard layout right uh, you will find this uh, word in your mobile phones as well to select that q uh, verti keyboard layout or uh, while you are buying uh, keyboard so this is called q verti uh, keyboard right okay <coughs> what i did i draw uh, this these two tables uh, where i kept uh, left and right side uh, hands keys which are used uh, to type so down there are fingers so against each finger i mentioned the letters uh, if you see here uh, so this is little finger and this one is for ring middle index and same for the right hand and uh, thumbs for space bar so these six for uh, index finger of left hand and same six for Uh, six count for the right side as well so these two fingers having 12 keys to type and if you see if you see f and j i kept with different color because it has a raising point on both the buttons or keys on which you have to rest your uh, index finger so even if you don't see on your keyboard if you will touch uh, f and j with you with your fingers you will find some raising point over there so you will know okay this is f and this is j to align your uh, fingers right okay little bit about history okay <clears throat> actually this uh, typewriter was started by shoals and glidden in 1867 when they started making these uh, Uh, typewriter and its keys and you know all that then later it was acquired by uh, remington and sons who were also manufacturer of uh, revolvers as well right uh, so the question is still that okay why these are not in order if you see this uh, typewriter Uh, which was developed during this time and the same layout qwerty layout is uh, still kept over there so see if uh, you uh, see this typewriter keyboard is also qwerty right so same is coming still now okay now if you see here uh, this key uh, this uh, typewriter uh, this is the ribbon on both sides so when you type one uh, or, or press one key low this will move as well you know to uh, keep this ink from here right okay this these are the arms uh, 
and these each arm has i think if i'm not wrong two two characters one is up and one is down so like in shift or control we are having in the our current keyboards so one is up and one is down so this each arm will have to struck here right so on this is paper on the back side this white right and when this arm will stuck here it has to come back then only second will go sometimes it also happens let's say for example if you are typing i mean fast or you uh, maybe press two uh, buttons at the same time so what will happen let's say for example this arm will go here or it is coming back and this also stuck here so they will jam here so as per history i will say it says that they kept this sequence uh, in a different order or uh, i will say mixed these uh, keys to reduce the speed of typing so people will uh, have uh, less speed in order to avoid this jamming of these arms over here okay uh you can go through these reference links if you want to study further okay some more or and d are the same what i did i said okay let me type uh, keyboard word on the keyboard so, and then i will see how it will look like on the left and right hand keys okay so it's k is on the right e y right so so far both hands are balanced again on the right again on left so 3 3 then on the right and uh, sorry left left right okay sorry uh, let me go so this is how it will look look uh, on the keyboard or uh, on the uh, hands division i will say this is left and this is right hand right okay then i said okay let me find the vowels how they are placed so three vowels on the right side and two on the left while if you see on the right side there are less alphabets but this is how these are divided so if you see here from a to g letters are on the left side then i found from h to p again in a sequence not uh, on the keyboard it's in the sequence but these all from h to p are on the right side there is no gap and then again on the left side from q to z so 7 plus 10 left side having 17 keys and uh, right side having 9 keys so total 26 this is how these are divided on the left hand <coughs> excuse me <coughs> okay now this is uh, a latest or you can say uh, keyboard uh, qwt keyboard so in this if you see here uh, this qwt i am discussing only this part i'm not discussing any other area okay and i think yeah this one up to this one All right so this is q uh, qwerty keyboard so this whole layout is called qwerty keyboard and qwerty is are the first six characters on the top row on the left side that's why it is called q verti keyboard right uh, <clears throat> uh still you can say i mean if this problem to slow it down or what it was there in uh, 18067 or 70s why still it it is kept same but actually it's the same layout so it is it got continued you know maybe they are giving uh, maybe some sort of uh, uh benef not benefit i will say just uh, um what i should say over here to the inventors that okay who had invented this layout let us keep the same way otherwise now if you see here on the laptops or the desktop there are no uh, jamming sort of issues uh, but again we don't know 
how it will be if we make it sequence the typing will be easy or tough uh, thank you very much for watching this video share your feedback under the video uh, Allah Hafiz